everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Melissa and I am from thefarmgirlgabs.com and today we are going to talk about the new subscription streaming service called Disney Plus which will be launching very soon. But before I get started, make sure you click that subscribe button below. You can also click that bell so you can get notified of when I post new videos here on my site. guys so there is a new streaming subscription service in town if you are a Disney fan you probably are aware that Disney had announced a couple years ago that they were developing their own streaming service and it was officially announced last week that Disney Plus will be launching exactly 209 days from today today is April 16th so anyway Disney Plus will be launching on November the 12th, 2019. So what is Disney Plus? Well, Disney Plus is a streaming subscription service. It will cost $6.99 a month for now. Who knows, it may raise. I think that's a really good deal for what they're going to offer subscribers. The Disney Plus service is launching in the United States initially with plans to go global within the next two years. So, what content will Disney Plus have? This is where it gets good. Disney Plus will be a family-friendly subscription service, which means there will be no R-rated movies or shows at all. It will be the home to all things Disney. Pixar, Star Wars, Marvel, and with the recent acquisition of 20th Century Fox, many of those family-friendly 20th Century Fox movies as well. So let's talk a little bit about what will specifically be on Disney Plus. You will be able to watch the Disney classics, you know, the ones that we have come to love so near and dear to our hearts, like the Lion King and Aladdin and Beauty and the Beast and the Little Mermaid. They will all be available on the platform. Um, they might not all be available on November the 12th when it launches, but they are will be available within the first year. So that in itself, I think is worth it because I love the classics. I'm, I'm a traditionalist when it comes to my Disney movies. Um, in addition, there are a lot of different shows in development for this Disney Plus service. Um, we have a number of Marvel series that they're going to be producing. Um, Hawkeye, Loki, Falcon and the Winter Soldier, and WandaVision. That's just to name a few. I believe there's seven altogether. In addition, if you're a huge Star Wars fan, um, they're bringing back the Clone Wars, they're developing a series, a series called The Mandalorian, and um, Diego Luna is going to reprise his role from Rogue One. So there is a lot of cool programming. Um, in addition to that, there are other series being developed based around Pixar and um, some of the Disney Channel shows that we like as well. In addition, Disney Plus will also be home to about 7,000 television episodes, including The Simpsons, and they are going to have all 30 seasons of The Simpsons available. In addition to all of this, you will also be able to watch National Geographic shows as well, because National Geographic is now part of the Disney franchise. So there's a lot of great things coming to this service. So will there be parental controls? Yes. So if you feel your, your kids are not ready yet for any of the Star Wars movies, any of the Marvel movies, you can set the parental controls so they will not be able to view them until you are ready to have them view them, which is an awesome, awesome thing. Um, will you be able to download shows and movies? Absolutely. 
which is another plus to this service. Um, yes, just make sure you have enough uh, memory on your portable devices and your tablets and your laptops and your desktops because you can download the movies and shows that you see on this platform. So what about Netflix? Well, Disney is um, phasing out their, their partnership with Netflix. So you will not be able to watch any of the Disney or Marvel movies on Netflix any longer. Will it rival each other? I, I don't think so. I think it's two totally different platforms. Disney Plus is solely family friendly, nothing R rated, and I don't think that it's gonna give Netflix a run for its money. Um, I think Netflix is awesome and I will be subscribing to both because I, I like my Netflix shows. Hello, Umbrella Academy. Um, so yes, I definitely think that um, they're gonna be just two totally separate entities. I don't necessarily think that the Disney Plus streaming service is going to give Netflix a run for its money. I just don't think it's gonna be. I think it's gonna be a game changer for parents though, if, especially parents that um, love Disney or like their children love Disney. I think it's gonna be just a great service um, and just the fact that you, that you can download any of the shows and movies onto your portable devices in itself is a bonus. Um, like I said, the cost is gonna be $6.99 a month. I think that's a steal, and I would not be surprised if that price eventually does go up because I think that is really inexpensive. I think it's, it's quite cheap compared to the other streaming services out there. Um, and I think the $69.99 a year price tag is totally worth it. So I, um, I have a whole blog post about this. Um, I will link the information below. Um, but I want to know what you think. Do you think the money, do you think that Disney Plus is going to be worth it? Are you going to subscribe? Uh, let me know your thoughts. You can leave a comment below and I would love to hear all about it. So that's it for today. I will um, be back again with another video. Um, again, if you like this channel, I would love if you would subscribe. You can also click that bell to get notified instantly of when I post new videos. You can give this video a thumbs up as well. I would so appreciate it. Okay guys, thanks a lot and I will be back soon.